Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah today. You know, we go through lots of stuff in this walk with with the Lord and, and we're participating in his walk, that he walked this earth. We are joined to Christ, hallelujah, and we are to walk as he walked. And he had many, many difficulties. And he had the, the, the spirit of the world and the devil and the the soul okay the soul nature of man now jesus is his his soul was pure and holy and righteous it was not tainted with sin he had a a pure soul so but he operated by the spirit okay the spirit in him hallelujah his spiritual man because see jesus had a spirit that wasn't fallen hallelujah okay and he operated by the holy spirit but he was tempted, the Bible says, in every way that we are tempted. Every way, in every type of circumstance. And the temptation is always to satisfy yourself. To, to satisfy yourself and to, to do it yourself, basically, and to rely upon yourself. Okay? Now, I make this video to give you encouragement today to, to remind the believer. A reminder to the believer, okay, that no matter what's going on in the world, no matter what man is screaming and hollering through the media, this is going to happen and that's going to happen, no matter what we see on headlines, no matter what's going on in the economy, no matter what's going on in politics and, and religion and all this stuff, no matter, okay, no matter, God says in his word, that his angels, the angel of the Lord, the angels of God, the holy chief princes of God, encamp around those who fear him, around those who love him, around those who are committed and laying down their life, laying down their soul, saying, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. In the book of Daniel, now I want you to see this and, and I want you to think, God wants you to think about that. He wants us all to think about this. In chapter 3, in verse 19, it says, Then was Nebuchadnezzar, okay? Nebuchadnezzar was the, the, the king of Babylon, the king of the confusion, con the king of the world, okay? The world is a world of confusion, the world order, hallelujah. It's all confusion, okay? It's all confusion. And the Bible says, and I'm going to stop it. The Bible says, hallelujah, the Bible says, the Holy Scripture says, God rules among the heathen. God rules, hallelujah, in this earth. Not man. Man thinks he's ruling. Man thinks he's doing it. God is ruling, hallelujah. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury. I can prove it right here. He was full of fury. Because see, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would not bow down to the man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they would not worship the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. See? They're trying to set this image up in the earth that man is God. See? And I'm sad to say, some Christians are following that. <laughs> they're, they're trying to do like society, you see. And no, we have to do as Christ did. We have to be led by the Spirit of, of God. See? But Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury. And the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. In other words, he started to manifest, okay, a demon. All right. Therefore, he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was wont to be heated. In other words, they used to start this little fire in this furnace and they put people in there and burn them up. But Nebuchadnezzar was so angry, so mad, he, he heated it up seven times hotter. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning, fiery furnace. See? And one day, this is what this beast is going to try to do to God's people. And it don't matter. See? God is with us. Hallelujah. Jesus said, not one hair of your head. See? Will be harmed. Hallelujah. That's what Jesus said. Then, these three men. Oh, hallelujah. These three men. Then these men were bound in their coats their hosen and their hats and their other garments and were cast into the midst of the burning, fiery 
furnace. They were put right in the middle of it, thrown in. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, now listen to this, because it was urgent, in other words, get out there and kill those believers. Kill them, they're not bowing down to us. Get them, get them, get them, do what you got to do to get them. See? Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame, hallelujah, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Now, what does that mean today? It means that the, the flame, the machinations that this world order today will try to use to destroy God's people will turn around and kill most of their people. Hallelujah! Glory to God! See? We've got nothing to fear from this world order. We have to encourage ourselves in the Lord. See? Because they had told Nebuchadnezzar, you know, hey, we're going to be obedient to our God. We're going to follow our God. Okay? Whether he delivers us or not matters not to us. We pray that he will, but it doesn't matter because we're going to stand strong in the faith that we know he is the true and the living God. Hallelujah. And we're going to do what he tells us to do. And that's what they did. Oh, hallelujah. But they threw him in there, and because the commandment was urgent, the furnace and the furnace exceeding hot. See, because there's coming a day. There's coming a day. I believe in our lifetime when when this whole world system is going to be so pissed off because they're so confused. See, they're trying to bring about this this utopia and this 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 beautiful. Uh, I don't know what they're trying to do, but in the process of their doing it. They just get more confused and more confused and more confused because, see, God rules among the heathen. See? And God has the wicked in a whirlwind. God has their thoughts are in a whirlwind. Their thinking is in a whirlwind. They're all their cities are in a whirlwind. They can't control anything, see? So what do they do? They always come back and blame the true believer. They blame the true believer. Now, many of these people who are doing this, they're totally deceived themselves. There are many of them who are working for this system, they're totally deceived. But see, they worship their God, the devil, okay? And they think they're going to win. But see, it's already been written down that we are the winners. Hallelujah! See, God has won the victory in His Son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! He's got the whole victory. Hallelujah! He defeated every principality, every demonic force. He defeated Lucifer. He defeated all that is against his kingdom. Hallelujah. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they, they gave their life. They loved not their life unto the death. And these three, hallelujah, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Oh, hallelujah. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was a stony. Oh, yeah, he was a stony. And rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound in the midst of the fire? They answered and said, Oh, unto the king, true, O king, true. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire. And they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Oh, hallelujah. See, they bound them up. They tied them in ropes and they threw them in there. And then Nebuchadnezzar looked and he saw four men instead of three. Hallelujah. And the fourth looked like the Son of God, see? Looked like the Son of God to Nebuchadnezzar. And they didn't have no ropes tying them down. And what were they doing? They were walking around rejoicing, hallelujah, and singing praises unto the King of Kings. And that's what God wants us to do today. It doesn't matter what's going on in our circumstance. It doesn't matter what's happening in the world. God wants His people to rise up in worship and in praise and sing unto our God, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Lord. And we worship you and we praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And just sing to him throughout the day. Because God is able to deliver his people. No matter what the devil's trying to do. Come in with pressure of this and pressure of that. From this circumstance, that circumstance. It doesn't matter. See? If we rejoice, hallelujah, and sing praises to our God, we will see the deliverance that we need each and every moment of each and every day. God is able to supply. God is able to give you what you need 
in the natural realm, in the soul realm, in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. Because see, he is almighty God. He rules in this universe. He rules among the heathen. Hallelujah. Oh, be encouraged today. Be encouraged today. And know. See, that, that what God is doing, see, God is working. God is doing, you know, in the book of Jeremiah, God calls Nebuchadnezzar his servant. And, and God said Nebuchadnezzar was his servant to judge Judah, okay? Because Judah was steeped in idolatry, okay? But over here we see Nebuchadnezzar, he's getting all puffed up with pride because he had that dream and Daniel interpreted the dream. So he built that big old, you know, statue. And, and so then here come these three guys, these three young men, and, and, and they're like, you know, hey, we're not bowing down to no statue. You're crazy, king. I mean, I'm not going to bow down to that. So the king was mad. Well, he is furious. He said, I'll show you that I'm God. And he tries to kill him. And he tries to throw him in. He did it seven times, but it killed his people. It killed his people. Hallelujah. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth out of the midst, came forth of the midst of the fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors, king's counselors being gathered together, saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power, nor was it hair of their head singed. Neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Listen to that, saints. Hallelujah. It's the same God we serve today. He says, I am the Lord thy God. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Do we really know that and believe that? We do. Hallelujah. We do. Praise God. Look at that, man. He's the same God today. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stop listening to the lies of the world and the lies of the media, whether it's Fox News or Alex Jones or whoever, one side or the other. Stop listening to their lies. It's all a smokescreen to keep you focused on stuff you can't control. But what you can do is you can surrender. You can submit to God. And then you receive the protection of the Almighty God in your life. You receive the provision of the Almighty God in your life. You receive all that you need in your life as you surrender to God. Hallelujah. And believe the gospel. Repent of your sins. And do a 180 and follow Jesus. Hallelujah. And walk the way he walked. Be a follower of the Lamb. Fellowship in his sufferings. Hallelujah. See, then you have the victory. Then you rejoice. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake. Oh, he spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who hath sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him. See, you got to trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. We have to trust in God. And have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any God except their own God. Hallelujah. See, hallelujah. many today in the Christian faith, they're worshiping their self. They're putting their self above the almighty God. They're saying, Jesus wants me to do this. And Jesus no more told them to do that than the man in the moon. But because it brings them attention, because it brings them pats on the back or just people like them or whatever they do it and they say that's for Jesus and it's not see we have to do what Jesus tells us to do that's what we have to do hallelujah therefore Nebuchadnezzar said therefore I make a decree that every people nation and language which speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces. Now, you see your judgment, New World Order? Right here from Nebuchadnezzar, see? This is God's word. God, God had this recorded, okay? So Nebuchadnezzar made a decree, okay? Hallelujah. He made a decree, <laughs> hallelujah. Therefore, I make a decree that every people, now listen, this is a judgment against the nations right now. Every people, nation, and language would speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, okay, <laughs> shall be cut in pieces. There's your judgment right there. And their houses shall be made a dunghill because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. 
Hallelujah. At least Nebuchadnezzar was a little wise and he could see when the deliverance came to the people of God that that, that was God doing it. Hallelujah. But today you have a bunch of prideful, arrogant, snobby, haughty people ruling the earth and they got all these inventions of man that God says that are abomination to him. You see, and it's all a smoke screen to keep your attention away from the true and living God. Okay. But, but this king back then, he saw, he, he saw this miracle. He saw this deliverance take place. And he said, any nation, hallelujah, that every people, nation, and language which speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces and their houses shall be made a dunghill because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. No other God. Hallelujah. That can deliver after this sort. Oh, hallelujah. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Oh, hallelujah, saints. See, if you surrender to God and you do what God says, see, this is one thing we have learned this over the years, how to surrender more and more and more and more. Because when you you, you think, oh, I've surrendered, I, I'm surrendered, I'm surrendered, and then God, he brings a little test to you and says, will you surrender now? See, or will you fight and kick? You know, and so we say, Lord, I surrender. We cry out to God. And in and, and, and the last month, you know, in September, the Lord really just put it on me, the spirit of rejoicing, just rejoice in the Lord, see, because it doesn't matter what's going on around us. If we rejoice in God and we praise him and worship him, see, God's looking for a people that will worship him. Hallelujah. When we worship the Lord, he inhabits the praises of Israel. Hallelujah. He comes down and dwells with us. Hallelujah. So be encouraged today. Don't, don't let the devil get you down. Don't let your circumstances get you down. Encourage yourself. David said, I will encourage myself in the Lord. Hallelujah. David said, oh, oh, my soul, why art thou cast down? Hope thou in God. Hallelujah. Be strengthened today in the power of the might of God. And love the Lord with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. And do what God tells you to do each and every day. And, and, and just love him and serve him. And you will see the mighty deliverances. And stop listening to all the crap going on in the world in the smoke screens, okay? It's all smoke screen to, 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 to make Christ dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. And it's all from the devil's work. Keep your eyes on the Lord Jesus in the spirit and follow him. And God, he's working everything out. Everything is being worked out by the Lord according to his plan and purpose. Because see, God rules among the heathen. Hallelujah. Father, I pray you seal this word right now into our hearts. Oh, I thank you for it, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your holy name. Oh, praise your holy name, God. You are worthy of all praise, honor, and glory. I worship you and praise you and glorify your holy name today. Father, I pray you send your chief princes to surround your flock today. Surround us all, God. And fight the battle with us in the heavenlies, oh God. Hallelujah. Against the forces of darkness and crush the devil today, Lord. And crush the plans of the new world. Crush their plans today, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah.